Oh my god, it's happening. Give me a 75%. Yeah? Give me a 75%. Give it to me. Yeah, yeah. Come on. <gasps> that looks big, that looks big. I see arrow keys. I see F row. Yeah, that's an F row. I like sick actually, hang on. That side profile's actually. God damn. Oh, it's a TKL. Okay. ATHE. I'm fine with that. That looks sick. Oh my god. They did it. <laughs> oh my god. So, just a quick little video for you guys. Uh, I've been wanting this board for like two years. As I'm recording this, I think the stream is still live. Like, they, they've just announced a Wooting ATAG. Like, what? Ever since I saw the Wooting announcement video for today, I was like, oh yeah. It's probably going to be like another niche board, like the Uwu board. Like, who other than Osu players actually remembers that? Yeah, so I was not expecting a TKL board. I thought they would have gotten like 75% or 100%, not somewhere in the middle. But I'm not complaining. The only thing that stopped me from buying the Wooting 6DHE was I need my Efro and my arrow keys. Since I've just gotten used to my 75% custom key. I'm so happy that they're releasing this board. I don't know if they're giving ISO layout support from the look of the render. But they're refusing to give the price, which is probably a smart move from them, as it would probably turn a lot of people away at the start. They're probably going to let the hype grow a little bit. It's a Garski mounted board, which is pretty standard for most keyboards today. I'm pretty sure it's plastic, but they are offering an aluminium version as well, if I recall correctly. But I don't think it's actually aluminium, it's like a zinc alloy or something. I'm not sure whether they're using a new generation of the Hall Effect lacquer switches or what, but we should know more info about the board closer to the time of release in about one month. I'm personally so excited for this keyboard to release.